All right, so I'm doing this video um, by request. Uh, it's just quickly to kind of show how I did my little stick figure animations. Honestly, there's not necessarily a whole lot to show. As you will find out, it's actually incredibly simple to do this. So here we have our pivot animator. I got this from this website right here, Pivot Animator. You can just go there, download it, and use it. It's pretty wonderful. Works pretty well. <coughs> <coughs> so he, here we have the stick figure. You can either work with this one or you can add another one. You can change the color. Whatever the heck you want. It all works pretty well. Um, the next thing, we're going to add the background. Um, I like to get my backgrounds from pixabay.com because this is Creative Commons. So there's a bunch of images here. I chose this one. Downloaded it. So I'm going to go File, Load Background. And that's what I'm going to use. There we are. There's my background. Now the other thing is how do we add a little items like a gun or something? Well, what I did So I went to here and you just go to Google Images, you do a search, color type, you want to make it transparent. And I chose clip art type because I just like cartoonish images for what I need. So you find an image you want, you can click on it, you can open a couple so we find one we want. Right click, save image as. It's got to say PNG. If it doesn't, it probably won't work. This says JPEG, so I'm not even going to try. Let's see, save image as JPEG. No, I'm not going to try that one either. Oh, PNG. Okay, that's what I need then. So you download that, <coughs> and you bring up your animator. File load sprite image there's the image and it's probably ridiculously big so I'm going to downsize it oh, that looks about the right size maybe let's see Usually you can hide it off the screen there. Yeah, I'll just add that a little later. I don't know. No, they'll start off with it. It's good. Uh, click here to flip. Oop. Flip the gun. Okay. So now I'm ready. I guess I'll start out with him looking like this. Now he's holding the gun. Then you just add a frame. Each time you click this add frame, it adds the frame up here. One, two, three. Why not? Get rid of loop. Hit play. That's all it looks like so far. It's nothing. I like to have the speed on 12, but if you want it to look better, you can turn it up higher. But I don't. On 12. So now I just start adding clips. Or frames, excuse me. And 1, 2, 3, 4. Why not? And he starts to bring the gun down. Oh, I meant to hit that button. So it looks like so far. That's pretty simple. Now let's make him walk. Um, there's two ways to make him walk. Um, or two things I keep in mind is when you move them, you make the bottom of the foot connect where it was last, so it look like this. See so the bottom of the foot was there last. Add frame. This time the foot's going to be touching the ground. Put it right there. See the foot. 
so it's connecting. Yeah, you move the arm a little bit, make it look like he's moving his arms. Straighten him out, make it look like he's now standing. Hit play. Yeah, it's a pretty good walk. <laughs> okay, maybe now we want to make him shoot his gun. Let's go file this crate figure type. Sprite, or I guess it's actually file, look, figure type. Isn't that where I saved it? Yeah. Okay. So we'll put the bullet right here. His hand's going up like he's shooting it. By the way, these opaque images show where your image was last. Options. I like to have mine at three. You can change yours to two or however many you want. And we'll just temporarily move that out of the scene so you can't see it. Shoot his gun again. Works a lot better if you make sound while you do it. People think we're crazy, but all artists are, I guess. And sometimes, just for the fun of it, I m randomly move different body parts. I don't know why. Just for the fun of it, I guess. Let's watch it. Ah, see, he shot his gun twice. Now let's do something else. Let's let's show how we do a punch. Maybe I'll just add another figure that's going to get punched. Something else that helps me when I'm animating. Sometimes I forget to act, move one of the characters. I always remember do one first and the other before I add frame, but then I forget. Then I remember always do the black uh, figure first. So when I go for the punch, you bring the arm up, curve it. 
And I think having it go overhand like this, so it's above the arm, makes it look like he's in for the punch. The punches are pretty quick, so... Then when he gets punched, he's going to reflect just a have that reflex just a little bit. Then after you finish the punch, you bring him down. You bring him back. Bring the arm up for the punch. And he's going to send out the arm. back just a little bit look like he's getting punched and bring him back after the punch let's watch it now That's how you look like you got punched. Now, I guess the last thing I'll show is how to do a run. Runs for me are easier because I can use less rules. I'll flip them instantly. If you want to know how I did like the quick movements where he turns around real quick looking at places? Add frame, do two, now do three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then he's going to, this guy's going to start running. Now you can either do what I do with walking and you make the bottom of the feet connect, or if you want to do it the way I've been doing it more recently just because it's easier, all you have to do is make sure he's evenly placed between each run, evenly placed. And then I just put the legs at random. Because <laughs> it's kind of fun to just see how it turns out being random. Arms are random, le our legs are random, I don't really care. Just as long as they're in a different position than before. Make sure he's off the screen. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> Not bad. Well, that's that's all I really do for my animations. Um, try it yourself. See if you like it. That's all, guys. Have fun making your own animations. Bye.